everyone welcome back to my channel i'm lizzie and i'm here today with our day six 12 days of christmas craft series um you're going to be hearing my little one you're right behind me probably making a lot of noise so excuse me for that but she is still wired and does not want to go to sleep um i'm bringing today a cute little lollipop holder which you can easily make for favors and gift out to you know, friends, family, kids, stocking stuffers, whatnot. So I got this idea from Amber, and I'll go ahead and try and link her channel down below. If not, I'll refer to her video at another video. Um, but these are amazing and very, very fast and easy to make. So I'm going to go ahead and get to the tutorial so that way you can see how it gets done. And they're perfect because they could go ahead and just stand up just like that on your table. Now, what you're going to need is a piece of pattern paper that it measures eight and a half by two. And you're going to score it at two and a quarter, four and a quarter, and six and a quarter. And I went ahead and did that already uh, simply to make the video go by a little bit quicker. You're just going to fold on those score marks. And then right here, you're going to get a hole punch. This is, I think, an eighth of an inch hole punch. I got this from Hobby Lobby. And you're going to just poke it right in the middle because that's where your lollipop's going to go. You're also going to get these two corners and get your corner rounder. Thank you, my love. You see, I tell you, she's helping me. Just giving me a little bling to put on there. Um, you're going to round these top corners like so. And then you're going to round. This is going to fold up this way. So you're going to round these two top corners. Just like that. So then this is going to end up folding like a triangle just like so. Okay. Now I've, what I've noticed is that sometimes you might have to trim a little bit right here at the bottom so that way this actually folds up all the way um but that's pretty much the only adjustment that i've been making so far so once this is it this right here this piece right here and opposite of where you hole punched it this is going to be your front so this is where i'm going to lay down my embellishments now i did use a one and a half inch circle punch and i punched out another piece of pattern paper and I'm going to use some elements such as stickers and from the Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby to go ahead and place this down. Now, just for simplicity reasons, since I already have it connected, I'm going to use my hot glue gun. But of course, you can use wet glue or ATG tape. And just lay that there. I'm going to use a snowflake. And I'm just doing this really quickly just to show you how quick and easy this project is. Get a snowflake. You want to open it? What do you want to open? Okay, so I have my little snowflake there. And I'm just going to get a puffy sticker that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Not the Dollar Tree, I'm sorry. These are from Hobby Lobby. And I don't know if I want to use... The reindeer or the Santa or the house. I think I'm going to use the little gingerbread house. And I'm just going to, I want to be extra secure. So I'm just going to put some hot glue on that just in case. And lay that right on top of there. Okay, so my embellishment is done. Now all I'm going to do is get my lollipop. Stick it in here in these two holes, and then now I'm just going to adhere it like that, like so. Now again, normally I would put HTG tape on there or wet glue, but for right now, I'm just going to use some hot glue because it's available to me. And I have my little one that I'm under a time restraint, but hot glue works, guys. And these are just regular Tootsie Pops or Blow Pops that fit perfectly in here. Now all I need left is to put a nice decorative ribbon on it which i think i might use this mommy, you want help oh, what's wrong mama mommy, help. okay i'm coming i'm coming what do you want help with help. you want me to put it back okay thank you <laughs> sorry about that guys so then here i'm just going to you can easily tie the ribbon around the lollipop thank you mamas 
but I like tying the bow separately and then hot gluing it on there. I'm I'm horrible at bows, so please, I know I might be doing something completely wrong. What, yeah. mamas? Yeah. Yeah, what? You're going to help mommy make a bow? Okay. You're helping? Okay. I don't know if you can see her little hands right here. There she is. <laughs> okay, guys. Let me get to finishing this up because she's not going to let me finish. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and just cut that off. I am going to hot glue this bow. You know it's hot. It's too hot for baby Emma. So then we're going to just glue that there. And there you have it. Cute, quick, easy little lollipop stand. I'm going to call this little um, holiday lollipop holders. And there you go. Thank you. You're going to put another sticker on there? Yes? Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, thank you for having my little one here visiting me so that way she can join me in the crafting. Oh, my heart. Okay. Um, and we'll catch my you guys heart. in the next one. Bye. What you doing? <laughs> you finished. Good job, Mama. You're making a Christmas card? Oh, no. It fell down. It's okay. Yeah. Say Merry Christmas. Christmas. Emma, say bye. Bye.